We humans are creative, imaginative and curious. We always ask for shapes, figures, patterns and objects in everything we see. Even in stars, we made some simple, complex and highly complex shapes and figures. Once a curious physicist, Carl Ferdinand Brown, asked, Are there any shapes or figures in current? His curiosity gave birth to first oscilloscope, which was just plotting a graph over a paper roll drum. His further curiosity made the invention of first cathode ray oscilloscope. It was a bit simple design. In further years, the design developed more and more, getting digitalized and finally resulted in the DSO, that is Digital Story Oscilloscope. Now it's over with history. Let's continue with the block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope. A cathode ray oscilloscope has the Y input of the oscilloscope is provided through a vertical attenuator which provides the passage to these vertical plates of a CRO. These waves are passed through vertical amplifier which amplifies the signal and a delay line which performs the synchronization of those waves. Same signal which is given input to the vertical amplifier is also transferred to a trigger circuit which passes this signal which triggers the time based generator to to form a ramp like signal which is given to horizontal amplifier which amplifies the ramp signal and helps the helps the electrons to spread over the CRT screen now let us move towards the parts of a simple oscilloscope A simple oscilloscope has a cathode ray tube Cathode ray tube is a vacuum sealed glass envelope that has a source of electron which emits electrons and that electrons accelerate it to pass through two pairs of plates before striking on the phosphor coating screen which provides a visual display to the signal. The CRT screen is coated with a phosphor or zinc phosphate. As we dig deeper in the cathode ray tube, we have an electron gun. The electron gun is a source of electrons which provide accelerated and energized electrons and focuses it to pass through the vertical plates and be projected on the CRT screen. The electron gun contains a heater which heats the cathode so that it can produce the electrons. The cathode is covered with a layer of barium oxide which emits the electrons. This cathode can be a point or a rod. These electrons then pass through control grid. A control grid is made up of nickel and it controls the number of electrons passing through it. The further pre-accelerating anode and focusing anode accelerates the electrons and focuses the electron beam for on CRT screen. Further we have time based generator. The time based generator generates the ramp signals 
which helps the electron beam to be scanned throughout the x-axis of the CRT screen. In the movement from 0 to A of the time-based generator signal, the electron beam starts from the point at the leftmost corner and then passes in a straight line if no vertical input is provided and terminates at the point A which is the end point of the screen. The pattern repeats itself and the wave again starts from the initial point or zero point but now from A to B. The same signal repeats itself. The synchronization of these signals is done by the trigger circuit. Trigger circuit is the link between the waveform and the time-based generator. It synchronizes the horizontal reflection of electron beam with the vertical input. In a practical world, nothing is perfect. So is the time-based generator. The time-based generator wave takes time to go up. In the same manner, it takes time to go down. It cannot rapidly go from high to low. The time taken to go up is known as sweep time and the time taken to return back to the, its initial position that is zero is known as transient period. During this transient period, the CRU does not plot anything on the CRT screen. And thus, with the start of the next wave, the signal can be distorted or may begin from a different point on the CRT screen. To reduce that error, the transient time is usually kept as low as possible. This is all for now. Just like, share and subscribe our channel and be notified of the further updates. Thank you.